at Sakari. Last thoughts on the Sabbath. The Sabbath day slaughter. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rabbah Chakwadash. Double honors to the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Single honors to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the sense of men, women, and children. The Duke of Sister the one third. Shalom, Shalom. This is going to be my last <clears throat> thought um, why you should keep the Sabbath holy. And this is going to be a prime example of even unto death, you're supposed to keep the Sabbath. All right. So sex wouldn't even be a factor, let alone um, fighting. I understand this. So I'm going to be reading out of the Apocrypha, 1 Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 31. This is when um, after Tychus Epiphanes told the Israelites that they can't keep their commandments, their laws, they can't circumcise their children, they can't keep the Sabbath days, they um, defiled the, the altar with swine and, and they made them worship Bacchus and different gods and things like that, different idols. This is a prime example of keeping the, keeping the Sabbath to the best of your ability and why you're not supposed to break it for anything. So this is First Maccabees chapter 2, verse 31. Now when it was told the king's servant and the host that was at Jerusalem in the city of David that certain men who had broken the king's commandment were gone down into the secret places in the wilderness because our people will secretly be still keeping the law, statutes, and commandment because that's how much we fear Yahweh about Shemia Rashai. This is during the time when Alexander the Greek was ruling the known world. Right, he had four generals. And Tychus Epiphanes IV was a tyrant to our people. Okay, you gonna read Jeremiah seventeen and four. That's a prime example how the Lord said, "Thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage." Verse forty, verse thirty-two, verse thirty-two. Salakim. They pursued after them a great number, and having overtaken them, they camped against them and made war against them on the Sabbath day. Sakari, they made war against our people on the Sabbath day. So what did our people do on the Sabbath day then? Verse 33. And they said unto them, Let that which ye have done hitherto suffice. Come forth and do according to the commandment of the king, and ye shall live. So they're telling us, Come and do what the king say to do, and you will live. But they said, We will not come forth, neither will we do the king's commandment to profane the Sabbath day. Let that seek in, Sakari. Alize, continuing on, verse 35. So then they gave them the battle with all speed. I mean, they showed no mercy. Howbeit they answered them not, neither cast they a stone at them, nor stopped the places where they lay hid. So let this sink in. It's the Sabbath day. One of the generals of the army came down, or Captain, however you want to call it, came down and said to us, who was in the secret places hiding to keep the Sabbath and not profane it, said, if you come with us, you will live. Our people said, hell no, we're going to keep the Sabbath. And they ain't, they ain't pick up a stone or nothing. So our people, with integrity, they chose to rather die than profane the Sabbath by fighting to stay alive. But you say we can have sex on the Sabbath. You should be ashamed of yourself. Like I said, it's my last thought, though, but I, I remember, I recall this, and I had to bring it out. Verse 37. But say, let us die in our innocence. Um, innocency heaven and earth will testify for us that, that ye put us to death wrongfully so they rose up against them in battle on the sabbath and slew them with their wives and children and their cattle to the number of a thousand people so the women who died back then during that time on the sabbath to not to not profane it to keep it holy those women more righteous than you and i'm speaking as a man the women are more righteous than you you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Verse 39. Now when um, Matthias and his friends understood hereof, they mourned for them right sore. And one of them said to another, If we all do as our brethren have done, and fight not for our lives and laws against the heathen, they will now quickly root us out of the earth. Hearken. At that time, therefore, they decreed, saying, Moreover, shall come to make battle with us on the sabbath day we will fight against him neither will we die all as our brethren that were murdered in the secret places so wait a minute because people will be like well hold on wait a minute you mean you could fight on the sabbath but you can't have sex on the sabbath 
You have to understand. You gotta understand. The Lord say um to do good on the Sabbath. There's a difference. All right. Let me get it really quick. If I can recall it. This is um. Hmm. This is Matthew chapter 12, verse 1. At that time, Yahweh went on the Sabbath day through the corn, and his disciples were in hunger and began to pluck the ears of corn and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, the disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. But he said unto them, Have you not read what David did when he was in hunger and they were with him, how he entered into the house of God and did eat the shoe bread? which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priests. David did do that when he was fleeing from Saul. Or have you not read in the law how that on the Sabbath days, the priest in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. But ye have known what this meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. You will not have condemned the guiltless. Here comes the point. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. And with that being said, on the Sabbath day, when they made that decree, um, Mattathias, forgive me, made that decree to fight and not die, the Lord put the Spirit on him to say that. Just like how the, the, um, the disciples were able to pick the corn, the Lord put the Spirit on him to do that because he's the, he's the, um, he is the Lord of the Sabbath. So is there any fault with you? How about Shimei Shai? No, none whatsoever. But this what I this what I do leave you with. Psalms 115 and 3. But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. So with that being said, I pray was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quam Allah. Mofla Babal. Shalom. And remember to keep the Sabbath holy.